All right, guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at the Tag Team Power Collections. These things are absolutely massive for no reason because you could fit a lot of these in smaller packages. All right, guys, so it's finally time to crack into these Tag Team Power Collections. These are massive. Again, ridiculous amount of packaging. They have four new promo cards that are still Sun and Moon, even though we are well into Sword and Shield at this point. So just to show you guys, I will start opening this big monstrosity up. And so we have both of the collector's packs. We have Darkrai and we have uh, Espeon and Umbreon and Deoxys. Okay. All right. So I will try and fit as much as I can in the camera. So guys, bear with me on this. These things did not want to come in any smaller sizes. So let's crack these open and show you everything. There's the code card right there for you guys. There's more cards on the back? What? Who knew? Okay, hold on, let's take these out then. All right, as all those packs go flying, so we'll pick those up in a bit. But yeah, let's take a look at this. So there is a Regigigas, a uh, Leafeon, and an, uh, yeah, Glacier, I did not know that. Ah, and all right, Caracosta and Eevee. Let's just, sorry, let's just take them out. I, I didn't know that there were codes in the back, uh, cards in the back. Yeah, we got the Leafeon. Okay, yes, yeah, Sun and Moon series. Uh, Glaceon, let's try and get you out. And yeah, try and be careful, especially getting most of these out. What is this? That is the EV uh, GX. Nice to see some GX cards again. Okay, and yeah, this is the main one. The Espeon and Deoxys promo. That is a stunning card. Absolutely stunning. I love the artwork on that. Regigigas, we got that right there. And the two other ones. Random character. You know what's funny is I actually just finally got this guy in Pokemon Go literally earlier today. Caracosta, 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 whatever you want to call him. And okay, here is the other one. Finally, get rid of the packaging. Umbreon and Darkrai GX. That is stunning. It's like they're in a back of. I, definitely in a city somewhere. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really give any identification as to where it could be. But yeah, we have. And here is the giant promo card that comes with it let me actually let me try and get all the packs out because guys trying to show you this this thing is massive i don't know why in the world they wanted to promote something this big okay so here is the big uh jumbo card if you will yeah the espion and deoxys gx uh it's just your standard promo uh jumbo card nothing really too crazy about that now let me actually try and get the packs that went flying so we got that for you. Okay, so we have Sword and Shield, Cosmic Eclipse, another Sword and Shield, uh, Lost Thunder, kind of random, a bright backstock of Cosmic Eclipse, and Sun and Moon, and an Evolutions. All right. So that one code card actually states uh, just Tag Team Powers Collection. So I wonder if it's this. Let me know in the comments if it is the same prize regardless of. Oh, we have a Celestial Storm. That flew out of there. So we had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs all together. Let's crack them open. So yeah, let's. I guess that that, that particular code card is basically just um, all the promo cards. It didn't look like it specified. The only difference between the two sets, um, I'll show you in a little bit, is it looks like just the jumbo card is different. So that really isn't anything too crazy. All right, let's see what we got today for Poles and Dragonite EX. Beautiful. All right, starting off with a bang. This is stunning. Let me just actually just show you the rest of them. But, okay, Dragonite EX. Gorgeous card. Uh, centering, uh, it's a little little off, but... Uh, wow, I, you know what? I don't know if I have this. I want to think I already have it for the uh, Master Set purpose. But that is a beautiful card to start the day off with, though. You know, especially with Evolutions. You never know what you could get. So, all right, cracking into Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, the original base set Sun and Moon, which is going to be a little fun uh, throwback to the show that I've been watching on Netflix. So, there goes that. Uh, now, I want to say, yes, four cards. Okay, we got Fire Energy. We got Steeny, uh, Thing, Charger Bug, Poplio, Stuffle, Wingle, Dratini, Lillipup, Stuffle again, and a Holographic... Tessarina? Tessarina? Oh, actually, I didn't realize Steenie had an evolved form, so there we go. Yeah, Tessarina. 
or uh, TSA, I don't know, whatever they want to go, it's, it's a, it counts, it counts. So, it's a pulp. It is a holographic, and it is blazing hot in here today, guys. Oh my god, there's the code for you. And yeah, let's run through, we got, oh, you know what, code trick, let's try and put that. I always keep forgetting, we got water energy, uh, Lana's fishing rod, uh, Celtic swirl, type null, uh, do, hill, Io, carvana, Tepig, Togodomaru, Sogaleo, Sogaleo Reverse Rare, and a Subat. I'll take the Sogaleo Reverse Rare anytime. So, just got done watching him in, yeah, I was just going to say, the Sun and Moon series is outstanding. Um, the second season, I can't say anything much better enough about it, but it's, you can, I mean, you can really skip the second half of the first season and then just go straight into the second part because it just kind of ends wherever it feels like it. Uh, should it? There's no defining, like, thing that happens. In Sun and Moon, uh, it's season one that basically just automatically just kicks into the next season. So, yeah, you can just you fucking go there. Uh, Thunder Mountain. All right, so we got a Thunder Mountain. Uh, is that going to be the uh, reverse? Yeah, I guess, yeah, because this is uh, the Grambles, the non-holographic. Oh, it's not bad. Thunder Mountain. Oh, actually, I'll throw that, throw that in the polls. That's not bad at all. All right, I'll well, save the Sword and Shield for the last part. All right, we got sent, uh, Celestial Storm. It is, when I tell you, blazing hot in here, guys, I am really, really, really thirsty. I got my water right here. So, okay, let's see. Is it three cards or four cards? Four cards, okay. So we got Fire Energy, Fisherman, uh, Super Scoop Up, that bug, Lotad, Fan Feed. This is, a, it looks like this is, a reprint from uh, Neo, I want to say either Neo Discovery or Neo Genesis. Uh, Wingle, uh, Trek, Voltorb, uh, Steven's Resolve, and Meg Cargo. All right, so far, nothing too crazy. But yeah, for think about it, you're spending $50. Now, $50, you're spending on uh, a bunch of promo cards. So that is worth it in the end to its own. Think about it, like, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven promo cards all together. So, I think that alone would be worth it, and the packs, of course, the rogue is the extra part. But as far as the odds of getting something good, let's see. Now, the jumbo cards, they do make a jumbo binder. There's the code for you guys. And you could get them on Amazon for about ten bucks. That actually holds all of the uh, jumbo cards, which is pretty cool. All right, Dark Energy. We got another Fishing Rod, Celtic. Uh, Titanol, Drillbur, Tangela, Eevee, still trying to pull the Charizard and Breaksin card from this set, and Swana. Yeah, not gonna have it today for Cosmic Eclipse, I'll tell you that much. But we are still on the hunt for the Golden Zamazenta and Zashian cards, or any of the extra gold cards for that matter. We are 88% done with the Sword and Shield set, and I am so happy. How many more Sword and Shield products do we have left to go through? We, this might just be it. This might be the last official Sword and Shield product. Now, I'm sure we'll open more Sword and Shield packs because of the uh, amount of extras they'll put into, like, bonus stuff. So, and, uh, oh, Cinderace Holographic. Perfect. This might be one of the ones I'm missing because I have the League card set. I don't know if that's the one that particularly uh, lined up with that League promo one. So, oh, my God, much better. But I am so sick of putting away Sword and Shield cards. I really am. So, let's crack this last one open. Show you guys right there. Okay, four cards. And Leaf Energy! We got Galarian Lanoon. Now, I'm into uh, getting my uh, Pokemon all together for uh, Sword and Shield, and it's a Pokemon home. Been playing Pokemon Let's Go to try and finish that. And let me tell you, it has been an absolute pain in the neck trying to do that. So... Okay, and Intellion non-holographic. So $50, I'm going to be honest, down the drain for three cards that uh, might not be worth it. Might not be worth it. I mean, the Dragonite is absolutely stunning, but as far as that pack goes, we still have the other box to get to, which is this big one right here. And, oh my. Yeah. The only actual difference is the Jumbo card. Uh, I guarantee you that is it. So... Basically, get one of these. You don't need to. Decide on which one you want the most. And come on, dude. Seriously. Yeah. 
before all these go flying. So yes, same thing, eight packs. I'm just gonna leave these in here for now. Uh, there's the card for you guys, or the code for you guys. But yeah, it's the exact same thing. Exact same thing. Trying to put those in. I will show you the jumbo card because that is different, the two jumbo cards. So this is the one from the Umbreon and Darker Eye GX set, which I don't know if you guys can see it a little bit better right there, kind of how that is, is the artwork. And right here, the Espeon and Deoxys one. Uh, these are just stunning. Let me know what you guys like better. Personally, I, I love that the ground is coming up or like they just, just decimated it. And the fact that they're sitting in the background, you can actually see is a little Pikachu right there in the corner. I don't know if you guys can really point it out, but yeah, it's uh, right here in the corner for you. Looks like on a TV monitor, but hey, why not? But so think about it, 50 bucks, you got eight packs. Now you can roughly get about $45 worth of eight packs just normally without all the promo cards. But where you're going for a master set chase, including all the promo cards, you got to stack up on these packs. So let's start from the bottom up. We'll go uh, Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon, I am not sure what cards I am missing from this set still, and I want to obviously, uh, you know, continue searching for any of the rare ones, but I gotta check my checklist to see what are the key ones that I need from the series. Growlithe, Young Goose, Torkoal, Linton, Stuffle, Spinda, Cosmoan. Co they did not even mention these names, uh, Cosmong or Cosmoam throughout the, uh, the entire story arc for Sun and Moon. I thought that was really stupid uh, for the first couple episodes. That might have been the one negative I had with it is that they just neglected to name it anything. And we're like, oh, that's just Nebby, by the way. So I'm like, okay, well, you guys going to uh, name the... Uh, you get, you get, you get a name? Like the Pokedex, you're going to register it there, a Rotom Dex. And he was like, no, nah, he just did it on his own. Okay, Adventure Bag, Pineco, Eevee. And I just want to take the time to say thank you guys for all the love and support. And a Heat Factory. Uh, I guess we'll throw that in for the pulls as well, just because we did it for the Thunder Mountain. All right, let's see what we got. And uh, Coffer Regis. It's a dead pack. It's a dead pack. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, thank you guys for the continued love and support. We'll go with uh, Cosmic Eclipse. And yeah, uh, definitely love doing the Tuesday giveaways. Those are so much fun. And... I definitely see something shiny in the back. So, you know, we're just going to take this one as it is normally. So, we got Magnemite, Lily Pup, Trap Ninch, Sneasel, Lily's Poke Doll, and Oracorio GX. Ah. You know, it's still a GX. It's still a GX. Um, damn. I was hoping it was something, uh, you know, something a little bit better. But it's it's okay. It's okay. We got that card already. But nice to have a GX pull. Um, I do miss the GX cards. The VMAX cards are really cool. And uh, the you know the V cards in general was sweet, but I always want to save Sword and Shield for last. Uh, what do we got? Let's go with the Celestial Storm. Now, my uh, what's it called? Master set, as uh, I'm just forgetting at the moment, was probably at a bare minimum with this set. But I do want to try and uh, get more. I believe they the did they make a Elite Trainer box for this? I want to say I want to say yes. Um, I don't know if I have it. If they did, I don't. I don't know. Uh, so we got Clamperl, uh, Skitty, Lotad, uh, Sir Skit, Sneasel, Tropius, and a Lowland Radicate GX. Okay, this I don't have. This I can tell you right now off the bat, I don't have, especially because uh, most of the GX cards and the rare cards for a Celestial Storm, I uh, haven't gotten a chance to open them. So that is a beautiful card. Put that into today's polls. So, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Cosmic Eclipse. Again, we'll see and crack that open. Did we really go through all those packs already? Ah. Well, seems like, uh... I guess we did. It just didn't seem like we went through a lot, but... All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go normal. You know, I like to switch it up just to see maybe if we have better luck, you know, doing it the normal way. Rock Ruff, Komo, and... Island Challenge Amulet! Gold, the secret rare! Oh! Oh, okay, beautiful card. That is great. Finally, got a gold card. Okay, let me try and uh, see. Wow, that is some of the worst centering I think I've ever seen. If you look closely, it is way too far to the left, and there is such a gap over here for the right. But uh, who cares? It's a secret error. We got something good out of this. Oh, perfect. Oh, uh, yeah. Again, still trying to get the Cosmic Eclipse Master Set going. 
I was gonna knock over a couple things, but that was fun. Did not expect that. So let's uh, try and get a little bit more. We got three more packs to go through. Ugh. All right, we got Evolutions. And Evolutions, I like doing it just the original way. Uh, Vulpix, Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, Ponyta, and... That did not just... What? That did not just happen again. And hey, look, we got a do duo. Uh, Secret Rare also. That's insane. That is insane. Two Dragonite EXs in the same day. What are the odds? What are the odds? Let me get a. Let me get both of them for you. Wow. Um. It. I don't know what to say. That that is just absolutely insane. That is awesome. Uh, what's funny it, to me is that they both came from the Power Teams collections. So, unless you're guaranteed a Dragonite EX, which at this point seems like you're gonna, but no, I'm just kidding. Uh, that is really cool, and yeah, I'm sorry, this this Secret Rare is also insanely awesome. Uh, if you actually read the bottom and read the attack, it is absolutely hysterical. So, uh, look out for these uh, Imakuni cards. Uh, to me, as a kid, if you played the original Game Boy game, that... Uh, Imakuni card was featured in it and I was like oh is it an actual card or whatever it is and uh, sure enough they ended up making like real cards of it um, but they were like joke cards to be put into the game for like just like giggles and uh, ultimately I, I always wish they make them into a real card because I thought it was just the funniest thing and they ended up doing that so I that's why I always love those cards uh, energy uh, team yell grunt so we're opening up the last two sword and shield uh, Galarian Sunfish, we got Krogunk, Silicobra, Minchino, Vulpix, Mana, Silicobra, something good please, and Chinchino. Damn. Alright. Yeah, nothing too crazy there, but last pack for the day, guys. We have Sword and Shield. Uh, I wonder what my last Sword and Shield pack I'm going to open is. I really do, because I really want it to end. <laughs> I really want to get into some more things. And you know what? The ev uh, You saw the Charizard card that we pulled the other day. That is ridiculous. The uh, one from Evolutions. Uh, I'm so excited about that. And now we got two Dragonite EXs. We missed the uh, Pidgeot EX on that uh, day as well because it somehow was just stuck to another card. And I should have realized that the Dev uh, Delush Devolution, the Evolution Spray, was no longer a rare card that they put it as uncommon. So... Last pack of the day, guys. Let's see if we get anything good. And it's a Roserade. All right. Well, I cannot be disappointed with today's pulls altogether, guys. Let me go ahead and show you. So we have the two beautiful Dragonite EXs. We have Island Golden. I'm sorry. Golden. Island Challenge Amulet. We are struck gold today. We got the GX cards, Alolan Raticate. Uh, we have the Trainer cards. We got Heat Factory and Thunder Mountain. Uh, and then we got two Hollows. Uh, literally a Noah's Ark worth of cards today. A set of two each. Uh, Tessarina and Cinderace. Uh, I, am, I am so thrilled. And what more could you ask for? There has been nothing but good luck coming to us with these pulls lately. And I am so excited. So with that being said, guys. Oh, go get one of those boxes. Let me know. Let me know if you end up getting one of the... Uh, Golden Dragonites. All right, guys, so if you want to see more Pokemon-related content, you can do so floating above my head somewhere if it ever decides to show up, or if you want to check out one of the playlists, or the only playlist that we have full of more Pokemon uh, content. So, guys, I've been Joe Major from i 47 Studios. We want to thank you for all the time that you spent with us, and you remember, for $50, is it worth it? Is it worth it? I'm gonna start making this a series, so. But would I say it? You know what? As far as the polls went, they were exciting, so I'd say get one, Pick out your favorite one of the jumbo cards and let me know what you get. I'm Joe Major and we'll see you guys and follow us until tomorrow like always. Thank you.